Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle and as promised I have my final rankings on the January 2023 Bring Back My Bars. It's always so exciting to have retired bars come back whether they've been back recently or not. It's always nice to revisit them because our scent preferences and our sniffer changes over time anyway. With that said, my rankings are based on my current scent preferences and, you know, my like and dislike of certain scent notes, the performance in my house. So please be sure to watch multiple people's opinions. That's my key word there. It's, a, it's an opinion. <laughs> watch other people's opinions, you know, to help make you, help you make a decision. All right. Now, I've discussed my ranking system before, but let's go through it again. I rank them basically on a f one to five stars, like most websites do when you're, you know, reading reviews on things to buy. Five stars is the best, and I have those over here to the right. Going backwards, one is the worst over here. And I kind of figure at three, I'm neutral. I don't like or dislike a scent, and going backwards to two, I dislike it. One, I can't stand it. That's kind of the can't stand it stack. <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, it's opinion. Um, and then if we go back to neutral, going higher is that I like them. Three and a half is I slightly like it. Four is I definitely like this scent. Four and a half is I really like this scent. And five is I love this scent. You know, it's, and I, I made this, I came up with this because, you know, when I'm going towards the I don't like them, I don't really need extra steps in how much I dislike them. It's, you know, the two options is plenty for me to know, to keep track of what I like. I mean, what I dislike and what, I just really cannot handle. So when I go into the positives, I want wanted a little bit more option. And this works out perfectly for me to keep track of what I, you know, just barely like a little bit versus what I really like and what I have to have can't live without type sense, you know. Okay, so let's start with number one, the can't stand it. If you've been watching me, you know this was going to be here. <laughs> Peppermint Rush. This is, to my nose, peppermint and spearmint. It smells like gum or toothpaste. If that sounds like something for you, it's probably a terrific scent for you to try. It is a stronger performer as well. So go for it if you like it. It's in my never purchase again stack. <laughs> Next I have in the ones a cinnamon sticky cinnamon bun. So for me this was a little odd. It was not a cinnamon bun whatsoever. It was red hot cinnamon and that's it. I, maybe it had a little bit of vanilla in there to differentiate this scent from cinnamon bear but it was just a lot of red hot cinnamon. Absolutely not for me. So, not a purchase ever again. All right. Now, in the twos, dislike. And a lot of these, I'll say, there is just one note in these that I, for some reason, don't like. The first one is Woodland Suede. And this is um, kind of a woody, cozy cabin almost kind of scent. But it has this lemon note in it that just doesn't belong I feel like that's how my nose perceives it. A lot of people are liking this one. It is, you know, a say a medium to light performer. Also in my dislike stack is my, <laughs> so two of these bars, I think, uh, from the bring back my bar, I actually gave to my daughter because it was scents that she liked. And so I have a stand in bar here. I have my stand in quiver bar. This is uh, like sandalwood, vanilla, and um, 
a floral of some kind, I believe. Anyway, sorry. Um, I, it just, to me, that floral, that, oh, it's tuberose, that's what it is, which is not a rose at all. It is a floral, but it is definitely not a rose, just because it has rose in the name. Anyway, for some reason, the scent oil that Scentsy uses in this for tuberose comes off smelling like just a wax crayon. So I feel like this is a diluted version of satin sheets. They melted some wax crayons in it, and that's what I get. So, sorry. Not for me. Next is Autumn Stroll. And this is, um, like, leaves and cinnamon and plum and incense. It's just too spicy for me, personally. I hope not to purchase this again. <laughs> course if it's in a 25 bar pack you know I guess I would but um yeah just not for me that peppery note in there is too much here's my second stand-in uh scent clamshell here it's green tea smoothie and for me it had a beautiful green tea scent but it was overpowered with peach and to me peach is a dirty scent. I don't know how to describe it other than that, but not for me. So, um, yeah, that's kind of funny. Two of my, the two of my daughter's favorites were in my two category. All right, next in my two category is spiced berries. This is supposed to be berries, frankincense, and myrrh. No, this frankincense and myrrh is unlike any frankincense and myrrh I've smelled anywhere else. I don't like it. I don't know what kind of oil they're getting for those scent notes, but this is almost more of a cinnamon and incense type uh, scent. I love frankincense and myrrh scents usually. This is just dark berries and, I don't know, some bad version of frankincense and myrrh oils. Autumn Blaze Maple is... A very nice scent. I think it's got like apple, pumpkin, um, oak. I like those notes. There's maple in here and it's a bit overdone. So a little too much maple for me. Um, so that's why it's in my dislike. I don't know if I should put these back after I'm done talking about them. I'm afraid they're all going to go flying. And we're going to have a mess to clean up before we can even proceed. I already dropped one, so let's see how many we drop during this video. All right. In my three category, so neither like nor dislike here. I am kind of neutral. So first one is cucumber lime. It definitely has a much stronger cucumber note than it does lime. But the longer this melts... The more, the less the cucumber comes out and that line kind of shines through. So, yeah, I don't dislike it. I don't like it. I don't need more of it. I'm glad I tried it. Next in the neutral, don't care, don't like or dislike is coconut pumpkin pie. This one is on cold. I really liked it, but warm, it's, there's something in it. That doesn't go together for me. It, I mean, maybe it's the coconut and the pumpkin. But anyway, it it's just, I don't know. Not that I dislike it, though. Anyway, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about this one. Not that I dislike it. It's just not something for me. I mean, I should have also prefaced this video with my go-to type of scents is fresh. And then after that, usually is fruity. Um, you know, I occasionally like florals, not powdery type florals. Um, my least favorite is probably like heavy masculine cologne type no uh, scents, um, followed by bakery. But you'll see, there's bakery in these. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so maybe this is just too much bakery for me. I'm not sure. Okay, that's why I went into that. Sorry. 
Next is Melon and Apple Granita. I really thought I was not going to like this one, but warm. It was decent. The melon and the apple were pretty even, and it was kind of a decent fruity scent. It's not anything I need more of. I'm glad I tried it. Um, I would say it's on the stronger performance side, so yeah, if you like that kind of scent. Next is fried ice cream. So here's, you know, one of those bakery type scents. Um, this has cinnamon in it. Uh, caramel and nuttiness or something like that, I think. Anyway, to me, this smells kind of similar to churro churro. It's got like almost a bready doughy note, um, like fried ice cream would have. You know, they, they dunk it in some kind of batter and then fry it. Uh, anyway, but yeah, the cinnamon wasn't too heavy. The scent is very light on its own, but not bad. Glad I tried it. All right. Three and a half. So slightly like these. Cranberry muffin. I thought I was really going to love this. I actually even ordered more. Um, I love the cranberry scent in here. That's why it's in the three and a half category. It is, um, it is a bakery. It's not a bakery that I would crave, I don't think, but yeah, I slightly like it. That cranberry note in here, I, I really like. Um, it's got this buttery, odd kind of scent to it, um, which has knocked it down probably at least. So without that kind of buttery brown sugar, whatever, it would have been maybe a four or even a four and a half possibly. Um, but that put it down to the three and a half. Okay, next is flirtatious. And this is just your girly, fruity, kind of adolescent type scent. Um, nothing special, but yeah, it is girly and fruity, so I like it a little. Next is rum raisin cookie. This one surprised me how much I did like it, even though it wasn't a lot. <laughs> Um, this came across as like an oatmeal cookie and it was nice. It has a little touch of clove in there. Um, and kind of this raisin type note. It's really nice warming. Next in my three and a half is crumb top. So like I said, I'm not a bakery lover. This, these that I'm liking here are not ones that I would crave that I would buy tons of. Or even buy more of probably but I enjoy them I, I enjoy them for what they are crumb top is I want to say it's oatmeal hang on I can scroll down in my notes here yeah oat butter brown sugar and that's nice but it's just kind of a basic oatmeal scent I like actually the oatmeal scent that I since he has had that I liked the most I think it was oats and honey. It was like this fancy lady oatmeal, and it was beautiful as far as oatmeal goes. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's oatmeal. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I enjoyed that. My four, so I definitely like these. Hazelnut Latte. This is a great scent. The performance is not great. It may be my nose, but I have a hard time smelling this, and yeah, if I could smell it better, warm, I smell it just fine in the clamshell, but warm, it's just barely there for me, so yeah, it's a four overall, and it's not one I need to buy more of. Next is Pima Cotton. This is definitely a type of scent that I would love. The scent notes are all floral notes, but this is very distinct laundry, heavy laundry, powdered laundry scent. <laughs> um, back in the day, I would have gone, this would have been in five, the five category for me, but I think I burned myself out on something like this. So yeah, it's just in my like it category. Next is vanilla cream. Again, with the vanilla scents that I can't smell, 
what I can smell of this, I like it. But, you know, a vanilla scent is a vanilla scent to me, personally. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could smell it. I do get some of that coconut milk note, and that's probably all I'm getting, actually, now that I think about it. But anyway, yeah, it's nice. It, if you like vanilla scents, give it a try. Um, fours, I'll say on fours, I would buy if they came back around, but it's not like I need to stock up generally on a four, um, but I might buy a few usually. And now saying that, let's talk about Coconut Palm. So Coconut Palm is coconut. It's it says it's got patchouli and something, green notes maybe. I personally don't get a green note here. I don't get patchouli either, and I usually don't like patchouli. Um, I think the patchouli that is there just makes it a little more authentic, fresh coconut. Gives it a little bit of that, you know, outer shell that coconuts have. Um, but it's a great, just plain coconut scent. And... I love this mixed with Clean Breeze. So, with that said, if it weren't for finding that mix that I really love, I would not have purchased more of this. But, since I found that mix that I really love, but this is only a mix scent for me, I did buy some that are, you know, haven't shipped yet, but I did buy some to have to mix, um... But normally I would not have bought more of these. Next in my four category is Perk Me Up. Again, great scent. Not my kind of scent I would have going in my house all the time, but a great coffee scent. It is just, just brewed coffee. There's not like the bitterness or the burnt note that some coffees have. It doesn't have added like chocolate or cream or anything like that. It just smells like coffee. Um, yeah, if I were a coffee scent lover, this would definitely be higher up in my rankings. The performance, however, is not that great. So keep that in mind. That It might get better, though, with some cure time. No promises. I don't know for sure, but it might. All right, now we're on to my really like these. Gonna buy more, or have bought more. Pear Blossom and Cucumber. So this is kind of a floral type, girly, fruity, fresh type scent. It's definitely body care-esque type of a scent, um, which I guess I should have also said in my scent preferences that I can't usually lean towards those you know, body care, perfumey type scent sometimes when they're fresh. And this is a fresh scent. Uh, the cucumber just is barely there. It's in the back. It's noticeable as a cucumber scent, but very nice. I really like it. I bought two more of this one. Uh, performance is on the lighter side. If it were stronger, I might would... Um, have bought more or added to my club and I'll know about that but anyway you know we got a club control is a major issue <laughs> all right next one in my four and a half and this was a super surprise huge surprise to me flower shop would have never in a million years thought I was gonna like this scent even before I smelled it again and knew that it was a green scent and after I smelled it cold and knew it was a green scent I would have never thought either way that I would have put this in four and a half after warming it though this is the most authentic you can get to walking into a flower shop this is not you know heavy in your face floral powderiness at all this is more of the green the earthiness that you get from this it's a good performer. It did great in my open, my large open living room with high ceilings. Um, and it wasn't like 
in your face offensive because of that green note or because it was too strong. It was perfect. Um, so I really think this would be good in any room with, you know, a lower amount of cubes. I think even small rooms you might could do a half a cube and be good. Anyway, very surprised about that one. Ordered two more. Kind of tempted to put it in my club, but it's not something I'm hardly ever going to reach for. I just might have a craving on a pretty, you know, day. All right, next that number five spot got two hits in this bring back my bar round. Well, yeah, I get, I was fixed to say, let's talk about the other one first, but I already have this one. So Mediterranean spa. I do remember this from a long time ago that I really liked it then. So I was excited when I saw it coming back and it did not disappoint. The smell is phenomenal. It's fresh it's clean. It's got like a lemon or a citrus type note in there. Um, like spa-like and a little aquatic and just relaxing and kind of comforting and clean at the same time. So good. I wish it were a little stronger, but maybe I wouldn't like it if it were a little stronger. So there's always that. And if you've been watching me, you know this is going to be number five in my five spot here. Apple Press. My absolute favorite apple scent from any wax company. Yeah, it's still just an apple scent. A lot of people are saying, smells like Johnny Appleseed to me. <laughs> I get it. But it smells like so much more to me without being so much more. It's got a freshness about it, a crispness about it. I, I love this scent. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just an apple scent. <laughs> I think it says, uh, oh, let me scroll up for this one. Uh, juicy, crunchy apple, juicy pear, and a hint of the last full roses of summer. Yeah, you definitely would not know there's rose in here if you weren't told it had rose, but it adds so much to it. And that like juicy pear note, I think is what kind of gives you this fresh kind of air type vibe with it as well. And you, I, I swear there's an oil in here that smells like the skin of an apple. Anyway, whereas this has so many, um, levels to it, I feel like, whereas Johnny Appleseed is just a one note basic apple. Anyway, I know y'all hear me go on and on about this scent all the time, but thank you so much for everyone that voted this one back. I'm definitely increasing the number that goes into my club. I will at least be putting two in there. Um, like I said, club control is a real problem. But, yes. Okay, so there's my final rankings. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great weekend. And I guess I'll be seeing you again on Wednesday. Thanks for watching until the end. And everyone, take care. Bye-bye.